Usher, can you put some clothes on, please? Distracting everyone. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Sims 4 in the city, which means we need to actually head over to the city. And just before we kick off into getting into the apartment, we still need to do a little bit of work to it. We need to give it a little bit more love. We have made a big, like, an effort so far, but it's a very big apartment to decorate. I was just kind of thinking that you guys have made a really good point that both Kira and Charlie Rose are kind of fighting for the same sim. And it's because there's not enough, like, cool teenagers in the game. So one thing I was thinking is we should probably make some more sims and just kind of put them in the towny pool so that we see them around the game. So that's what we're gonna be doing first. If you guys are excited for this video, don't forget to give a little cheeky thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you share this video. Let's kick off with making some simulims. So if you guys checked out my mystery sim challenge, we made some new sims there. And I actually really like both of them, so I'm gonna make them teens and like use them. those guys as well. And They've already got like good. traits and stuff, and in particular, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I quite like Jamie Street, so I'm gonna be keeping him. We've got quite a lot of girls already kind of floating around, but we have a real guy shortage. So we're gonna be making some guy sims. So I've got this basic face here, which is actually from a sim from the gallery, Nathan Beck. There's a lot of custom content on it that I don't have, which is fine, because I kind of want to make him like my own kind of guy. Oh my gosh, how much better would this hair be with a little top knot? If you guys have found some cool top knot hair for guys, I mean, actually that one's quite cool. I say that and then I see what <laughs> I'm kind of also liking though, I'm having like a little beanie on as well. We could do a little beanie sort of number on him. I think that would be quite cool and I don't have any beanie wearing sims. Okay guys, so I've gone for this kind of a look for him. I think he's a nice looking sim. He's called Asher Collins. And I've kind of gone for like, I don't know, a bit of like a chilled out, almost like a little bit of a skater boy look for him. Uh, I know you, not everybody likes tattoos, but I do like tattoos. So I've put tattoos in him. I've also given him body hair because I don't think many of our sims have body hair. And obviously guys do have body hair. He looks quite old for a teen, but still, I think he's looking pretty good. His voice is a little low, so I'm just gonna bring it up a tiny bit. I just realized that Asha lost his eyelashes, so I've put them back on. <laughs> okay, so next up we've got Joey Holt. I'm really liking the way all these guys are looking so far, by the way. So he's got a little bit of a darker skin tone. I like the bandana on his Ooh. head. And I don't know, just kind of a bit of a, I don't know, like a bit of a jockey kind of look, I guess. I think he looks quite cool. He's also one of like the bigger sims we've made. Okay, we'll make one more boyo for you guys. And then we've got our final new guy. He's called Anthony Fisher. He's kind of, I love the hair. I love the hair. It's like a huge top knot because he's got dreads and the ends are dyed. And then I don't spend too much time on these other looks because the look you're going to see me most of the time of this is this with like the huge baggy jumper. And he's got like the, the quadruple ear piercing. I say we make him a musical genius who is a music lover. <laughs> And he's a dance machine. Like, this guy likes to dance. So he's looking pretty cool. I've just realized I haven't given this guy anything. He Apparently, he's a party animal who's a creative. We've already got a music lover, so let's change you into a little bit of a goofball. Like, I feel like this guy is kind of the life of the party. We'll get rid of Jody here. You're not included, I'm afraid. <laughs> you look so weird compared to the rest of them. Okay, so we're releasing Kylie... We're releasing Jamie. We're releasing Asha. Asha, can you put some clothes on, please? Distracting everyone. There we go. Asha. We've got um, Joe. And we've got Anthony. There we go. Let me know what you think of all of the new Sims. Let me know which one of your f is your favorite in the comments below. And let's just move them in somewhere so that at least they exist. I like how in the picture she stood like apart from them all. Like, I have nothing to do with these smelly boys. Okay, gang. Enjoy your- you all look very like depressed and weird. Enjoy your time on The Sims. I'm sure you'll be entering the series soon. You'll just have to let us know which one of them you want to enter the series. Oh, look, straight away they're leaving the girl out. Isn't that just typical? Just typical. So we are gonna head back over to our brand new uh, flat. We've got a little bit more decorating to do, but I think it's looking pretty good, you guys. Oh my gosh, just realized I don't have my headphones on. Oh, I hope you guys are dancing instead of me because I didn't get a chance to dance. <laughs> oh, wow, you guys have still got your Halloween outfits on. Jesse, 
Why were you not Harlequin, oh. you absolute pookaroo? <laughs> you looked so, so good as Harlequin. <laughs> Harley Quinn. I'm saying it way too like Harlequin. Which is obviously what it's a play on, but there we go. Here was our beautiful little Halloween, Halloween well, senoritas looking super, brown. super cool. Right. So as you so guys know, cool. Sims Pets is actually coming out really soon. So I want to move out little Kira and little Charlie into like uh, the new neighborhood that is going to come with Sims Pets. Which kind of means, you know, they don't have that much time left being teenagers because I want to move them out as adults. I want to make one of them or both of them a vet. I haven't really decided which one yet. <gasps> Look at these cutie pies blowing kisses at each other. How cute are you? So we've got quite a lot to do between now and the pets release, including get these little cheekies to prom, which means they're going to need a prom date. So I know things aren't working out too well with Charlie Rose, and with little Zach, obviously, I don't think Kira wants to just move in there and like step on Z uh, on uh, Charlie Rose's toes with Zach. She doesn't need to now, guys, because there's some new boys, new boyos in town. So you've actually, oh my gosh, where have you gone? You've actually got class in two hours. I don't know if you're going to go dressed as that. I mean, fair play to you if you're actually bold enough to do that. But right now, I kind of need to figure out where you've hidden your homework from me. Because you haven't done it. There we go. Okay. Go do your homework because you've got class really soon and then we'll set her like a uh, moodlet while she's at school to meet new friends. We can see if she meets any of the new boyos. How about you, Harley? If you got work today, let's have a little look. Yes, you've got work in three hours. And Roxy doesn't have work for two days, but she's got to up her piano skills and she's got to up her guitar and violin skills. And we actually wanted to make a music room for Roxy. So I think maybe today we, we kind of upgrade this room a little bit. So did she tickle the ivories? What does that even mean? I'm so confused on what that means, but I would like you to do it just so I can figure it out. So she needs to get piano to level eight and violin to level seven. Violin or guitar? Well, luckily, because you are a symphonic string player, you actually have both. So you can practice both as well. There's a weird sight. It's uh, Fawn Kira doing her make her homework. She's kind of not Fawn as much as she is full on deer, which are guys. So that's kind of weird. Apparently, this is tickling the ivories. And apparently, Jesse finds it all quite funny. They look really weird in these outfits, but it's not Halloween. Like, you guys need to change, okay? 75% done. You're missing school. Come on. Hurry up with the schoolwork. Well done. Okay, she's changed back into that dress, you guys. Love so much. And we'll set her to meet some new friends to see if she can meet some of our new boys in the neighborhood when she's at school. A few of you guys have said, oh, you know, because uh, oh, she's still got that makeup on her face. Oh my god, you're gonna freak everybody out. Freak everybody out at school, you big pookaroo. A few of you guys said that, oh, because Kira's got two mom parents, then she should be looking for a girlfriend. And I think that's like a... One, that's not how things work. That's not how things work at all. And two, I think that kind of... Uh, it plays into a bit of a negative thing I see online where... Like, obviously you guys know that I'm not homophobic at all. I've got like gay sims. I've got gay friends in real life. I'm very pro-gay base. I hate that. I have friends in real life, so therefore I can't be this thing. But I'm like... I'm totally accepting of everybody to kind of live their life the way they want as long as they don't hurt everybody, anybody else. That's kind of how I feel about things. But I do see people that are homophobic saying you can't let two gay people raise a child because then the child will be gay. And obviously they mean it as in that's a negative thing that they will then make their child gay. And one, I don't want to like play into that negative stereotype of being like, oh, well, the child must be gay as well. Because two, that's not even how it works, you guys. Like you don't choose your sexuality and you don't become a certain sexuality just because your parents are. Uh, we're going to send Jesse to work alone. Or else you would never have any gay children because obviously there'd be a mum and dad involved originally, however far back down the line. So, ow. <laughs> so that's not how things work. So I'm not going to make Kira gay just because her parents are gay. I think that's like a really silly thing to do. I think it actually reinforces some like really, really negative stereotypes. So that's definitely not what I'm going to be doing, you guys. Okay, Jesse, uh, Roxy even, you stay right there. I'm going to be doing some work on the room you're in. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you now. We're going to... Where's the doll? Okay, here's the doll. I've gone for a little bit of an old school theme, but oh, hello there, Roxy. So we've got like, this is where she plays currently a keyboard. She's got some like really cool old school sort of, uh, sort of like ladies of the, the 50s or the 40s maybe. 
even more old school on the wall there. She's got her piano, her violin, her guitar, a little bookcase where she can store the songs she writes. So she's got an awesome view over like the mountains and the city so she can kind of like, I don't know, get some inspiration. And then guys, I finally have got her a piano. So when she doesn't want to be making jingles on the keyboard, she can actually go ahead and play the real thing, which I think is pretty cool and I think she'll like that a lot. She is pretty hungry at the moment though. It looks like they've got some dindins out. <gasps> they've got a compass stew and they've got scrambled eggs and bacon. You guys aren't really thinking of Kira much when you make your food, are you? She can't eat any of that. She'll have to go make all of her own. Guys, you've got a th Mila Munch. Oh, I think this was from like the moving in party. Oh, okay. Because if you guys don't remember, Kira is actually a vegetarian. <laughs> and I've kind of taken it a little bit further. I don't think she would eat like eggs or milk or anything. So she's, be Kira's basically a vegan, okay? Kira's a vegan. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. I don't think, however, that she's met anybody at school yet, you guys. Keep looking for those friends. She's a little bit hungry and she's got green stuff all over her face, which, you know, Gonna make the whole school thing a little bit harder. In fact, you know what, Roxy? You can do her a solid right now. You can go and plan your outfit. And in turn, you can get rid of her poor green face markings. So while I was taking off her Halloween outfit, I just tried this new hair on her. And I actually think it looks really cool. I like it a lot. So we have got some new hair on Roxarino as well. And then I just gave her this dress for her party dress because I think she looks pretty banging in it. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. You know what? She looks like I've got a cousin called Katie and she looks like my cousin now. Okay, Kira, let's get that stuff off your face. I actually think I'm gonna have to put full edit mode to get this off because I think it's like a skin overlay. Okay, there we go. She's looking much more normal again. And I've also swapped her outfits around so that she'll wear this one more than she'll wear the other one. So I know you guys don't like the other one as much. So, you know, it's kind of an in-between sort of solution because I do like the dress one and I like the short hair one. I like them both. There we go. There's my music. <laughs> Okay, Roxy, you look awesome, but you don't need to walk around the house in your party outfit. So why don't we change back to just our regular old day-to-day -day outfit? That would be great. Thanks, babe. Thanks. And you need to be practicing. Uh, I think you still need to practice everything. <gasps> why don't you try your new piano skills out on your new piano? I don't know what concerto is, but you're about to do it, my friend. <gasps> Hopefully it sounds awesome, you guys. There she goes. Well done, little rock. Look how happy she looks, you guys. She's loving her new piano. She's good as well. All this time we thought she was trash, but she was just playing on a trash keyboard, you know. She's actually beautiful. Sounds like something awesome is happening in your place. Do you mind if I check it out? I think that's our neighbor. Where's our front door? He must be- Ah! Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I took- Oh no, he's here, he's here. Why don't we go say hello to our neighbor? Invite in to entertain. I guess he wants me to play piano for him. Okay, so Roxy's being a, a good neighbor and uh, meeting the neighbors. And then she's gonna play him some concerto. He seems to be quite into the old Roxaroo. I mean, I don't blame the guy, but... You know, there's a Jesse in the equation, friend. Oh my gosh, look, he's like, I love your playing, I wanna come in. Little Roxaroo's there playing her heart out and he is... He is just sat there watching TV. Wow. Also, Lil Roxaroo, uh, not Roxaroo, Kiraroo, met nobody in school, which is really sad. Maybe she can invite around some little friendaroos and they can go out and hit the town. The actual city, since she's the coolest one, now that she's living in the city. Okay, so she's invited a big group of friends to come and hang out. Basically, all the teens she knows. Are you a teen? Yeah, you are, which is pretty cool. I mean, you can tell they're teens because straight away they're like, I'm going to go take loads of selfies of myself at my new lot. So they've all gone to a karaoke bar together. Oh, gosh. The awful karaoke has begun, you guys. At least they're in booths here. But everybody just getting some drinks and whatnot. I was kind of hoping that, you know, some of the new boys may head down. You never know. You never know. There's little Zach. Let's just go say a little ho hi to him. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. She can influence him to do stuff. Oh, she could be the, like, ultimate best friend and talk up Charlie Rose to Kira. Uh, to Zach. Let's see how that goes. I've never done this before, so I don't know if this is going to go well or not. I always got the feeling, though, that Zach was quite into Kira. Like, 
He just, whenever they go anywhere, he gives her all the attention. Like, you can see it now. L look how he's looking at her. I just get the feeling he's quite into her, you guys. I know you want him to be with Charlie, but that's just the vibe I'm getting. Although saying that, now he's just come and tried with Charlie. I don't know. I can't keep up with these guys. Charlie Rose is great. I'm glad I got to know them. Okay. What else can we do? Hook up with? Will this work? Oh my gosh, she's feeling very confident. She's gonna go ask him to hook up with Charlie. Charlie Rose sounds like a catch. I'll introduce myself when I see her. You've already seen her. <gasps> What's he gonna do, you guys? Imagine if Kira is like, <gasps> Oh no! What, Charlie? Oh my gosh, Charlie, I thought you liked Zach. Maybe because he turned her down last time? She is this time like I'm turning you down. What the hell, Charlie? Let's go ask Charlie Rose about him and like figure out where her head is at because that was not the reaction I was expecting there, you guys. She's giving him the thumbs up. I like Zach. He's pretty cool. Maybe we should try it this way around. Now we're gonna tell Charlie to hook up with Zach. If it doesn't happen this time, you guys, I think the whole Charlie Zach dream needs to maybe die because clearly it's not meant to be. Okay, she's gonna go speak to him. If this goes wrong, then I don't think these actions can ever result in a positive result. Because so far, they most definitely are not. Okay, guys, she's going for it. She's going for it. She's just chatting with them. Okay, there's some hugs going on. But that's it. I don't know, you guys. Maybe, maybe they're just not meant to be. Come outside to play a little bit of shooting the hoop together and oh my gosh everyone's hair textures are really weird but they've become a little bit more normal again they're just literally playing basketball like the city's cool you can hang out in places like this and just kind of chill although actually half the party is now leaving you guys it's only 8 p.m so now it's left with just these two hanging out everybody else has gone home the big losers so maybe since it's just those two hanging out now and since those boys go to their school Maybe they just go say hi to them because they both live in the city together. Oh my gosh, they're all still stood out in the hallway. It is kind of weird to just turn up to their house. Oh my gosh, Charlie straight away having hilarious, hilarious laughs with... Oh my gosh, there's so many names to try and remember here. Jamie Street. Okay, he's the guy we made. But you know when you've been hanging out with your friend for a while and you just kind of like, you get a little bit giddy and stupid? I feel like maybe they're like that. Totally lost where on earth Charlie has gone. But everybody else has kind of come outside. So I guess we should just kind of like get to know all of them. And at least just so we know who they are and we can chat with them whenever we want to. It's pretty dark where we are right now though. Oh my gosh, there's a streaker in the streets. Also, I don't know why we're all hanging outside in the pitch black. Can we not do that? What the hell? What What is this little love heart thing going on? Compliment appearance. Why are you complimenting his appearance? That's a little bit extreme. She just turned around to him and be like, you're really attractive. Apparently she wanted to do that as well. I did not tell her to do that, guys, just so you don't think that I did. Because that's kind of weird. You just met the guy. Just met the guy, Kira. Settle down a little bit. Oh, she's super, super tired and miserable right now. I'm probably feeling a little bit embarrassed about what she just did. So why don't you head... Oh, who's asleep in your bed? This is your bed. Is that Jesse? Jesse, this is not your bed. Please go and sleep in your actual bed. Although maybe she was waiting in there so she knew when Kira would come home. That's some pretty smart parenting tactics right there. Okay, so Charlie's had to get up early again to get her homework done. Seeing as how she was out so late last night, but hopefully she's gonna get it done before school. I think you should probably send Asha a text just being like, I'm sorry, I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Send all of them a nice little happy text. And then maybe give Charlie Rose a call and be like, where did you go last time? Because she just disappeared. <gasps> Anthony's like texting her back, being like, let's enjoy the day. It's Thursday morning. Like, we've got school, Anthony. And now she's ringing Charlie and just like checking in on everything with her. At least we know Charlie's on the other end of the line because we got a little bit worried there. I don't know why, but Jesse really likes using Kira's bathroom. Wow. We just got told. Okay, this little Pookie is heading in to school. We will set her um, school thing. Maybe she can work hard, study hard for the first half of the day. And then we'll let her off to go and make some friends during the second half of the day. Asha still thinks she's a weirdo. <laughs> oh, little James. Oh, I missed it. 
Joe messaging Jesse because they work together saying congrats on your promotion. Do you want to get breakfast together? Oh, that's such a shame because she's already sat here with a little sad bowl of cereal or chips or something. But how sweet is, is Jay? He's such a cutie pie. I want to save like maybe another 10, 10k before we do any more work on the flat. I think it is looking pretty good so far though. I do wish the views were a little bit more like that direction's views are cooler. However, I like the mountains, you guys. They are at one with nature. Jesse's heading into work. Roxy's only just got out of bed. Like, Roxy is totally living like the musician lifestyle. She just kind of strolls out of bed like whatever time she wants. And now she's just like eating her eggs and bacon on the keyboard. Just living that musician dream, basically. She does have work today, though. And you're still not level 8 piano. You're still not level 8, uh, sorry, level 7 guitar or violin either. So, you know, you've got a little bit of work to do, friend. <gasps> she just puts the plate straight on the floor. Have you ever seen anything so rude in all your life? James Calariakin is wondering if I want to go over his house and hang out. <gasps> James, I would love to, but I've got work in three hours. You always ask us at the worst times. I think the next bedroom we need to definitely, definitely... Look at this guy, still wanting to come around all the time. We need to do a little bit of work on is little Jesse and Roxy's because... It's kind of not being filled very much at the moment, and they've got this dressing room that I've done nothing with, but 10k and we will do it. They do, however, have an awesome bathroom, even though stupid Jesse never wants to use it. They get to look out over the mountains while they wee or shower or bathe. That's pretty cool. Okay, you've got work, little Roxaroo. You don't get back till 9pm, and Jesse doesn't get back till 7pm. So Kira could have a little mini house party while she waits for her parents to get home. Maybe ring them and be like, why don't you guys go on a date tonight and I'll look after the house. That's how she talks. I don't know why, but she does. Her work is merely satisfactory. That sucks because she's actually doing excellent at school and she does her homework every night. But she's still a C student, you guys, which seems awful and fair. Okay, let's throw a little cheeky sort of mini house party. You've got a couple of hours to have like an after school gathering before your parents get home. And you've got an awesome new party to do it in. Uh, sorry, awesome new flat to do it in. Toddler play date, we're gonna have to do that in the next suburbs. House party. I love how these two are just fairies in the phone book now, it just looks ridiculous. They've actually got loads of friends now, you know, you guys. It's definitely a lot better than it once was. Can we put on some music, please? And here everybody is. Come say hello. So here we go. Some of the nice little friends from school. Anthony has come round as well. Oh my gosh, who's this little vexed head? Joey. Oh wow, Joey. We must have forgot to do some of your outfits. Because you look really weird right now. Why don't we ask to see his regular outfit? Kira's having a little chat with Anthony. I think Anthony's got like a really nice face. Like, he looks like a really nice guy. We've got Taylor here as well. Where's Charlie? It's not a party until Charlie Rose is here. Oh my gosh, what has happened to Joey? He's like glitched out hard. He looks so normal before, but now he's all messed up. Yay, Charlie Rose has come in a Halloween outfit. Charlie, what are you doing? Change, change. Okay, Charlie is back in a normal outfit again, thankfully. I feel like not everybody came. I don't think Jamie came. No, Jamie never came. Maybe I forgot to click on him. We have got pizza though. Everybody come and get a slice of pizza. Some people are definitely going to be left without pizza. Oh gosh, Jessie is home. She's about to walk into this. Which I think is the most Sims I've ever had, like, on one lot. Like, Kira is popular. Kira has a lot of friends. Look at that. Is it Kylie Sass? Check out her little sassy glasses. She has come full sass. Oh, these two little cutie pies are dancing together. I love that. We're definitely going to have to move those out to some bets or something, you guys. Kira's having a little chit-chat chit -chat with, uh, oh, gosh. The many sims have slowed my console right- my console, my PC right down. But she's having a little chat with Jamie Street over here. Who has a lot of tattoos for a teenager, just putting it out there. I spoke to Charlie Rose and find her quite pleasing. What? I love this like big up chat with person, chat with another sim kind of thing. I think it's a really cool way to get people chatting away to each other. I am a bit worried that so many people's outfits have kind of glitched out though. Hopefully they're gonna sort themselves out because he looks totally different in that outfit. And also that is not the like party wear that I gave him. So I don't know why everybody's glitching out you guys. I may have to go and investigate 
in the next episode. But hopefully you guys, who am I? Pick something you like. You don't have that much time because I made you new up very soon. Hopefully you guys like this episode of In The City. Please let me know what you think of our new sim creations. Look at Roxy coming home looking awesome there. Like, you're going to be getting all, the, all these teenage boys that are just going to be staring at Roxy now. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of In The City. We will do the prom episode soon, but you need to let me know who this should be. Their dates to the prom. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.